My name is Nick Martinez. I'm an instructor here in the exercise science program, as well as a laboratory coordinator for the Human Performance Laboratory. The University of South Florida provides fitness and performance assessments for individuals interested in gathering data to inform their training programs, as well as optimizing their performance. The Human Performance Lab features state-of-the-art equipment with highly skilled trained technicians that can provide valid and reliable testing for body composition assessments, metabolic rate testing, as well as aerobic and fitness assessments, and even mental performance testing. The Human Performance Lab services the USF community, which includes students, faculty, staff, alumni, as well as members of the greater Tampa Bay area, and we even accommodate the occasional request from individuals out of state that wish to visit the lab for performance testing. At USF, the way that we measure body composition, which is essentially how much of your body is made up of fat tissue, and then how much of it is fat-free mass, so that's everything from your bones to your muscles, your blood, your tissues, etc. Um, we use a couple different methods, and the first is with a skinfold caliper. So it's a little pinching device. We measure it on seven sites of the body. And then we do a second round of those measurements, but with an ultrasound device. So that ultrasound wand actually measures uh, the distance between your skin and where it kind of bounces off that first layer of tissue. So we have a machine called an in-body machine, and what that is, it it measures how much water you have in your body. And the reason that that's important is because when we test your body composition, we wanna know how much muscle you have and how much fat you have. But also, your body has a lot of water in it and that water content can change over time. So if we can also measure how much water you have, it gives us a more accurate assessment of your total body composition. RMR is a simple, non-invasive test that measures how much an individual, um, how many calories an individual spends at rest by determining the composition of their breath. So how much oxygen that person is consuming and how much CO2 or carbon dioxide that that person is expiring. By determining the rate of oxygen consumption, we can determine that individual's resting energy expenditure. A VO2 max test, uh, what that is, is testing an athlete's capacity to utilize oxygen to perform work. Um, so what we do with the VO2 max testing is we put them either on a treadmill uh, or on a bike and we hook them up to a uh, mask which is connected to an analyzer. Uh, we can see how much oxygen they're consuming, how much CO2 they're producing um, in order to gauge uh, their work capacity um, for a given exercise. One of the reasons that I think it's so valuable for people to get the to, to do the test that we have is to find out where you are now. And if you get that information of where your physiology is at this point in time, then if you make changes to your diet or your training, you can, you can determine if the things that you're doing are allowing you to make progress.